And his death has set off all kinds of reaction across the country, some of it good and positive, and certainly some of it negative. Yeah, some real company crises have evolved because of this. And uh, now a Valley Gym is having to take action. They're choosing to change their name and drop an affiliation with the very popular CrossFit brand altogether. Yeah, so Jamie's following that part of the story for us this morning. Jamie. Hi, good morning to you. I am at Back Alley CrossFit. They are now rebranding to Back Alley Fitness after the former CEO stepping down amid some controversial tweets he made about George Floyd. Uh, so this is a big change for a business that uh, not only loves the CrossFit community and workouts, but also is coming back to work after two, three months of having to shut down the gym. Uh, Katie is one of the co-owners here at Back Alley Fitness. And Katie, when you heard these comments that were said from the uh, former CEO of CrossFit, why did you decide to cross, uh, cut ties? Well, just because Back Alley is a place where we're welcoming to everybody and we just don't, um, we just didn't agree with them. We want to make sure that everyone feels comfortable, every race, every ethnicity, every gender. Um, so we just didn't stand by it. So we wanted to cut ties and just, we have such an amazing community behind us that was willing to um, help us with this decision. And we know that we can rebuild and Back Alley is not Back Alley CrossFit. In our community, Back Alley is just Back Alley. It's filled with amazing people, different professions. And, you know, we're just going to keep building off of that. And so now the rebranding issue yes. is something you have to address. Uh, this is a time when, you know, you weren't collecting many fees from right. or dues from customers. How do you move forward financially there? So we're working on that. It's going to be a slow process. Of course, we would love to just change everything now, but we're not going to be able to. So we need to be um, financially responsible, especially with being shut down for, yeah. I think, around nine weeks. Um, trying to rebuild our community because we know, first of all, even if our sign still says CrossFit, people in our gym know our values. And we want them to be able to be in here in a safe environment to, you know, be able to get back to a little bit of normal, relieve their stress again, and be happy. And we're going to put all of our money into making sure that happens before we might change the signs and things like that because we know that our people are really what's important. And then as we start to get our member base back and we have those funds, then we'll start rebranding and finishing up our rebranding. So anything we can change, we will. Um, but it's going to be a slow process, just like if you're doing your backyard. You get little, little pieces <laughs> yeah. at a time. So we'll, we'll yeah, make it No work. doubt about it. They yeah. are getting it done. The programming, the programming will be similar as well as just some of the verbiage that will be changing. But again, I'm at 12th Street in Northern uh, Back Alley CrossFit rebranding to be Back Alley fitness. Back to you.